We often get letters and emails from you at home asking us various astronomy and space related questions and we're very lucky to have our own astronomy agony uncle, Dr Alan Longstaff, astronomy tutor at the Royal Observatory Greenwich to answer your questions. Today we're talking impact events and in the first question P Unsworth asks, how are tektites formed? Over to you Alan. Well there are two ideas. Um, the most popular theory is that tektites are formed when a uh, meteorite impact effectively sprays up millions of pieces of, of molten rock and uh, these droplets of rock as they fall back to earth they, they take on these beautiful aerodynamic shapes and they freeze and become what's termed volcanic glass. The second theory is that uh, they maybe come from the moon but that theory is unlikely because tektites are found uh, around craters uh, on the earth they have strewn fields, they, they occur in strewn fields and the tektites are the same age as the, as the, as the craters. Um, one bit of evidence that was cited for the lunar hypothesis is that they have very low water contents just like lunar rocks do. <laughs> but of course if something's been heated to very very high temperatures you would expect its water to have all boiled off. Here is a piece of obsidian. This is volcanic glass uh, which is produced by uh, volcanism on Earth. And if you compare the two, you see that they're very, very similar actually, showing the very high temperatures that uh, the tektites have been exposed to. That's great. Our second question comes by email from Jane Harriet, who asks, what are the different types of meteorites and where do they come from? Well, here are three I prepared earlier. This is a, an iron meteorite. It's made of uh, iron and nickel and it comes from the core of some uh, differentiated planetesimal. We think that the cores of all terrestrial planets have, uh, are, are made of iron and nickel like this. The second are stony meteorites and there are lots of different sorts of stony meteorites but this is an example of a, a chondrite. It has lots of tiny uh, blobs in it uh, called chondrules which formed at very high temperatures when the solar system was only uh, a million or two million years old and you can actually see tiny little flecks of metal in there so this is really early solar system material. This is before it had melted to form differentiated planets. And this is one of my favorite types of meteorite. This is a so-called stony iron uh, meteorite. These are very rare. This, is, this particular type is called a palisite. And you can see that it's made of metal and it's also got bits of uh, rock embedded in it and the rock actually is is mostly a, a crystal um, of uh, the mineral olivine and when you hold it up to the light you can see this thin slice you can see the light coming through the the olivine we think this probably formed somewhere near the core mantle boundary of some primitive uh, planetesimal thanks alan more questions next time if you have a question that you'd like to ask Alan, then write to us at Ask Alan, Astronomy Now, PO Box 175, Tunbridge, TN10 4ZY, or email askalan2010 at astronomynow.com. And we look forward to hearing from you.